Hello, welcome back and today we're going to look at chapter 6 Support, Movement and Growth Support, Movement and Growth <coughs> So we can see that uh, What is this? Cheetah This is the fastest, right? Fastest animal on the earth can move From 0 to 96 per hour Okay Yep, so this is the speed of a cheetah. Okay, so support movement and growth in animal. <coughs> I think this one we learned before about, uh, we are going to start with endoskeleton. So we already learned uh, previously in animal. Okay, so animal if you still remember, animal we divided into uh, vertebrate and invertebrate, correct or not? Vertebrates and invertebrates. And for vertebrate, we divided into mammal, reptile, bird, fish, and so on. And then this is invertebrate. Okay, but usually for vertebrates we can see it is endoskeleton okay endoskeleton is a type to suffer all vertebrates endo and skeleton probably endo means inside okay is skeleton so our bone our skeleton is inside our body for example like mammal cat amphibian frog fish, reptile, crocodile, bird, eagle for example. So for all the vertebrates, we can see that the bone is inside so we call as endoskeleton. Then we have exoskeleton, probably exo means out, exo exhaust, maybe from the word exhaust, ex right, exhaust or ex. I don't know. Does it even make sense like ex-boyfriend or ex-girlfriend? Means outside. Okay. So exoskeleton means the skeleton is at the outside. Make it bigger a bit. I also cannot see. Okay. Outside. So this skeleton is at outside. For example, we can see that spider, prawn, scorpion, and crab. So the bone is at outside, not inside. And it's made up of, let's say the exam asks, what is it made up of? It's made up of vexicitin or shell. Here also we have a chitin, right? But I don't I am not sure whether the chitin that we have in our throat is the <coughs> same as the chitin they have in the insect. So we have endoskeleton we have exoskeleton so we have two and what is one more we have hydrostatic skeleton so we got three skeleton endoskeleton, endoskeleton means inside the skeleton is inside exoskeleton means the skeleton is outside then we have hydrostatic skeleton where the bone is not inside the bone is not outside the bone is hydrostatic okay you need you can have the bone by putting a lot of liquid into the body for example like starfish if you take out all the water the the starfish will bleh, okay if the jellyfish also is in the water you can see can swim the jellyfish can swim if you take and put on the land, it will become like a paper because it don't have the water and it don't have the skeleton already. The worm, the, it is a worm because there is, you can, I, I don't have pencil. Let's say this is the worm. The reason it looks like a worm because there is liquid that is pressuring the worm. So you can see the worm is like a round round thing that you can press but if there is no water 
then it will be just like a paper like that so this we have this what we call hydrostatic skeleton where it fills the body cavity body means body cavity means hole your body hole with fluid as long as you fill the body with fluid then you have your skeleton if you don't have the fluid then you do not have the hydrostatic skeleton and this one is the leech lah, huh? leech is the thing that um, suck the human blood so we have three exoskeleton endoskeleton hydrostatic skeleton and ready learn i think ready learn also like form one form two form three okay this one is something special exoskeleton size growth how it grows for exoskeleton but for us our bone grow then it's okay but for them most organism grow is by sigmoid flame shape okay so basically this is when you are 18 years old you grow until the most highest and the most weight and here usually is down a bit okay as you get older you will so sorry correct or not so here will down a bit eventually here means the person will die for example so this one the person leave suddenly 12 years old will be earn a lot of weight then 18 years old you go to your highest and then you will be the same until 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 maybe at the age 60 years old and above so sorry then then the person will die because your the dead cell is faster than the growing cell when you are young still okay huh? because you grow you fall down also never mind because you the cell that you grow is very fast mitosis is happening fast so you that's why young people that eat more so they grow more but eventually when they reach 60 their growth is slower that's that cell is becoming more than the cell that is created so eventually there will be a negative growth a bit it won't be like that lah, huh? if like that means alien man huh? it will be until like that then usually at here the person will die already lah, depending on what it is so this is called the sigmoid shape the curved skeleton the growth curve skeleton exoskeleton is like stages so we can see that <coughs> this is called the growth of the insect so it will be look like a stage okay it's made out of cheating because it's unable to expand the process of shedding the skin is called exodesis okay so it will be read as ecdysis okay ecdysis okay removing this skin is called ecdysis so we can see that from the egg suddenly will grow 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 and it will reach adulthood okay so it's not like a sigmoid shape but it is like a staircase for the insect to grow with exoskeleton will suck in air to expand their bodies the action of sucking air will break the previous exoskeleton that is hard a rapid grown will occur to increase the size of the organism before the new ex exoskeleton hardens okay very good okay so a rapid growth will occur to increase the size of the organism before the new exoskeleton harden so this is how the insects uh, body grow so the this analysis has caused animal curve growth to be a step okay so we can see that for example this is the experiment 
uh, day 1 until 30, the grasshopper, it has shed its skin for 1 time, 2 time, 3 time, 4 time, 5 time, 5 time. Okay, then you can plot the growth and so on. So, now we are going to look at how the hydrostatic skeleton with movement, how it moves, okay? So, the earthworm on the land with the aid of shitty, a blister found in its body. There are two types of the muscle in the cell and the earthworm body known as the circular muscle and longitudinal muscle. So, we can see that this is the muscle of the earthworm, longitudinal muscle and circular muscle and the chitti that um, help the worm to move. The muscle in the earthworm also act antagonistic opposing while the circular muscle contract, the longitudinal muscle relax causing the earthworm body to become thin and long. When the longitudinal muscle contract and circular muscle relax, the earthworm body will become thicker and shorter. So we can see that um, this, the locomotion of the earthworm, so one will become the fat, another one will become the thin. So this is the thin, this is the fat one, and it will continue to do like this in a repeated motion so that it will move. The antagonistic opposing action of the skeletal muscle and longitudinal muscle exert hydrostatic pressure on the fluid in the earthworm body. When the earthworm becomes thinner longer, the hydrostatic pressure transfers the fluid in the body. So basically, it will stretch it and it will move in front. Okay, it will move in front. So let's say if the exam asks, explain the movement of the worm. So you don't need to just copy everything. Lah, huh? You don't need to copy everything. Just maybe you can write the keyword. So maybe you just write uh, the earthworm move with the contraction and relaxation of circular and longitudinal muscle. So when the longitudinal muscle contract, another muscle will relax. Okay, it will cause it to be shortened and thickened. Uh, then you say that due to this, the muscle contract and the relax, okay, it will help the earthworm to move forward. Okay or not? Let's say the exam asks, huh? explain the, the movement of what. So you just talk about a contraction and relaxation of the circular and Longitudinal muscle, some seg segment of it will thicken and shorten, and this will help the earthworm to continue to move forward. Um, I doubt they will ask you ten mark question for <coughs> for the worm, but maybe subjective question they will ask for maybe three marks or four marks for you to explain this one. It should be good enough. I see you next time. Thank you and bye-bye. Thank you, teacher. Bye-bye.